Every little hellion has a demon mother. The Controlled Substances Act of 1970 is the mother of demon twins. Born and signed into law by President Richard Nixon on October 27, 1970. Those demon twins are named Food and Drug Administration and Drug Enforcement Agency. From these two, many other evils are launched, like the fat, racist, prison industrial complex that incarcerates four times as many blacks for cannabis-related crimes than any other race, even though consumption is not higher. The evil twins also launched the medical industrial complex, which is greatly challenged by the effectiveness and harmlessness of cannabis. The Demon Mother, the CSA, created the scheduling that keeps cannabis out of our easy reach. It murderously categorized marijuana as a Schedule I substance, which is the most restricted class of drugs and includes heroin and LSD. The irrational schedule actually considers cocaine and methamphetamine to be less harmful than cannabis. The single greatest hypocrisy is that it claims marijuana has no accepted medical use. Yet, its demon mother, the U.S. government, holds a patent for a medical application of cannabis. Which is it? And while we wait for the obvious truth of that answer to be increasingly revealed, guns are still safer than prescription drugs. Countless addictions and suicides are caused by legal prescriptions, while zero addictions or suicides have ever been caused by the utterly harmless, demonstrably superior cannabis plant, yet it remains federally prohibited. This is not acceptable. It's been unacceptable since its inception 47 years ago. Are you going to let it continue on your watch? In February 2017, Thomas Garrett revived a bill by sponsoring the Ending Federal Marijuana Prohibition Act of 2017. The bill would delist marijuana as a Schedule I drug and leave the regulation of cannabis to each individual state. This is an important time and initiative that needs your tiny micro act. With enough people exercising their political will, our demand will be heard. If you smoke or medicate for whatever reason, in whatever quantity, it is a moral responsibility to consider this judicial problem your own. Know with certainty that a group of people bonded in and with the insight that this plant gives us Oh, we most certainly can be a formidable force for good, for sanity, for delisting this invaluable crop. And it could not be easier to do. Use your smartphone. Download the free app, Countable. Search for HR. 1227. Vote yay! Become a persistent voice that your representatives cannot ignore. You have influence here. Use it. Push with it. Speak with it. Direct your knowledge and energy toward this single action that can amplify, magnify, and bring the delisting we seek. Please share this widely. To support more content like it, become my patron at patreon.com forward slash Yoga.